Here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proven ground for his first UFC title fight. UFC's welterweight division has been among the promotion's strongest, and that is certainly the case here as we get our look at the undisputed UFC welterweight champion as he gets ready to defend the title. The welterweight champion of the world. He's a star. The guy is one of the best pound pound fighters in the world, and he carries himself in that manner. You can watch this guy from his approach to the media, to his appearances. He does everything right. He's the champ for a reason. It all boils down to who he is and how he approaches everything from the media to the fight camp. And as commentators, we like heat, we like friction. We definitely have some of that on our welterweight championship matchup. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Good. All right, so here we go from T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world, most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world and the home to the biggest UFC fights right now. From International Fight Week to championship fights all across the board. Come to see more. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. My champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking weights. That one hurt bad. So more output, at least in the early going. Just misses with the right. Big shot. Nice jab. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick and. Then you're in a lot of trouble. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from the octagon. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. Oh, nice. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. His work, come on. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Perfect execution on that team. Lands the double jab. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. 
Two minutes to go. Throws that team. Misses with that one. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Shots exchanged in the pocket there. Less than a minute to go in the round. Big shot to the head. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Nice block. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Final seconds of the round. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. He hurt him pretty badly there in the middle of the round. Got to think he's going to be looking for more of the same here when they get up off the stools. I don't know who it is. I don't know who we're watching fight. But I tell you, as he walks back, he looks like Bambi. When Bambi was born and her legs were shaking, that's exactly how this man looked when he took that right hand. He was hurt bad, John. And the ability to get through that. The ability to still be in this fight shows to his toughness, but if he doesn't change it, he won't get he will not get another chance. Bambi. Bambi. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the road. Nice jab. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps try to set something up high later on? Well, I think, it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Straight right hand now just misses. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. He lands a solid punch there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Great block there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. 
do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. What a beautiful high kick that landed there. Dude's in a good flow state, landed punch after punch. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Looking for that left hand, not there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Takedown defense is there. Oh, just misses with the kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. And he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 15 seconds to go. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. And the one sounds on round two. Stop, stop, stop. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so as the second round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control. Oh! Jab. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Missed on the right hand. That one snuck in. Nice strike. 
hope this man doesn't have to sneeze tomorrow. It is not going to feel good. He has absorbed a whole lot of damage to the body. They might stop this fight soon. Could you imagine what his ribs feel like right now after taking all that damage to the body? It's visible. He looks like he's overreacting. He's wincing. It's hard to watch, man. Very hard to watch. He's got a good left hand. There it is. Well, he's clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Well, what got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice straight right lance. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, he is black and blue all over, maybe even dealing with a fractured rib, but the body strikes have been the narrative in this one. And it feels like we're getting close to a stop. We're getting very close. I mean, I, I can't imagine he's going to take many more. We may be one body shot away from this guy just not being able to stand. Toughness on full display, but he got beat by the better fighter tonight. Oh, big elbow. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making it work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on it. Under a minute to go. Oh, Lance. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding a target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Can't take many of those, you better check. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. 20 seconds left. Good job there by the champion. Oh! So now this damage really bears watching, right? His face compromised, and you got to think it's going to start affecting his output as well offensively. Well, you got to look from the start to make mistakes. Trying to overcompensate for all the shots that he's taken to the face, for all the swelling. I have seen on many occasions where someone has massive swelling and they struggle. Look for this guy to start to mess up a little bit in there. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Just out of range with that left hook. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Back 
and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tango tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Wow, huge head kick. Man, that left hand is money in the bank tonight. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Right hand, yup. Just misses there with the left. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Man, this dude's midsection is officially unrecognizable at this point in time. You do see the corners get involved, maybe more for head shots or leg strikes, but they got to be thinking about getting involved here. Brown beef, man. <laughs> Brown beef, John Anik. Look at the redness on his side. He is getting destroyed. He's been pounded to the body. He's been hurt to the body. And I would not be disappointed if the corner says, hey, I'm going to let my fighter live and fight another day. That's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Lifts on the straight right hand. Let's go. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Under two minutes to go in the round. All right, so the damage continues to be doled out. And I think a lot of fans watching at home would probably like to see the referee call in the dock. And, and that's very rare, because fight fans want to see violence. But right now, you have seen enough. This guy is beat. This guy is battered. He doesn't have much more. He has not done the right things to allow for himself to win this fight. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. One minute. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Nice shot inside by the champion. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. 20 seconds left. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well, we head back to the stools, and hopefully this is not the end of the fight, but I don't have to tell you fans out there, the swelling on the face has gotten extreme, and I do believe this fight could end at any moment. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. 
Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. <laughs> and able to land that kick to the chin. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Overhand to the head is true. Great technique there. Beautiful kick to the body. Misses with the right hand. Oh, beautiful counter. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Body shot there. Well, missed on that one. Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Side kick is true. Got a single collar tie there. Well, you see him cringing now as the body damage just continues to pile up. He hasn't made the adjustments, and I wouldn't even hate a stop at you. No, I wouldn't hate a stop at you. This guy's been beat up. Like, he hasn't adjusted at all. This started at the very start of the fight. And it continued to the point now that it seems as though it's an eventuality that this fight will be stopped due to body damage. Tremendous game plan, and it worked perfectly. If you're going to go out guard on your shield, if you're going out guard on your shield, don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You gotta move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Just missed on the front kick there. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Straight right hand on the counter is good. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, lands a beautiful switch kick there, champ. I mean, just like Edson Barbosa, he switches hands and drives that kick up onto the elbow. Fast leg kick lands. Beautiful hand there is play. Another punch lands. What an absolute war it has been. Oh, Sonnet to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. 